Hey everyone, Soundwave884 coming at you with a Jada Toys Metal Figs review of Bumblebee. Now, I did do an unboxing video where I unboxed my EntertainmentEarth.com haul where I got this figure, Super 7's Grimlock reaction figure, and the uh, Flame Toys Optimus Prime G1 model kit. Now, I'm going to start reviewing each of the three things I got from that box. And then I'm going to give you a link to this item down in the description below if you'd like to purchase this item from Entertainment Earth. So right here is Jada Toys Metal Figs Autobot Bumblebee. Now he is made of metal, hence metal figs. These are die cast toys. Now these are just uh, larger versions of these smaller ones that they have already come out with. And I have reviewed those on my channel. I will show these compared with those as well. Now he comes with two weapons inside and he does have a light up feature. You hit the Autobot logo on his belly. And his eyes light up. That is pretty cool. Now the head design looks like on this bumpy isn't really too, I uh, say, G1 faithful. I mean, it's, it leans that way, but it's not pure like G1 cartoon and stuff. It kind of with the designs on the side of the head are trying to mimic the G1 toy. Now I kind of like to see someone do a bumblebee with a G1 toy head. Just because that's just, you know... Nostalgia from being a kid is childhood. I know the cartoons and stuff had it one way, but a lot of times the earlier coloring books, comic books, and stuff, and of course the original toy and box art has it that way. I like to see some more stuff done with the original G1 toy head. So let's go ahead and open this guy up and just take a look at the figure and his accessories. All right, so straight out of the package, he takes three LR. 44 batteries they are included of course i showed you the light up feature already and just shows you how to do it by pressing the button on his chest and tells you articulation the guns go in this one hand this other hand is molded closed we'll see more of that and it's, i guess it's saying you can turn the head 90 degrees we'll take a look at the figure right here because here he is so we'll see yes the head can go to there and turn it to there so that is your articulation on the head. He is pretty hefty because he is uh, die cast. There's no articulation in the arms. They are molded this one way. It's like a statue with a turnable head 90 degrees either way. So look at the back. You see where the screws are. This is where you replace the batteries if you need to replace them. You take a little screwdriver, stick it in there, undo the batteries, undo the screwdriver. Then you replace the batteries on the inside. So, this is what we have here. This is some of the ones we've gotten originally from Jada Toys. And it's like a big mix set of a bunch of Autobots. It's like, I think, Starscream, Megatron versus Prime and Bumblebee. So, this one is a little more cartoon accurate. And this one is, uh, like, a sort of a mix of toy and tune. Leaning more towards the uh, cartoon look. And you get the two guns. You get this gun here, which is the, like, generic Autobot blaster, of course. The, the rifle that they usually have. They have this one here, and I'm not sure exactly what this one is based on. Uh, it's kind of kind of cool looking, but all you do is get these little things. You just shove it right here in his hand, so he can hold this one. And that's a big gun. That's like he's about to take care of some business. I take the little generic silver Autobot blaster, and we'll just shove that one in like that. I like that one. I think that one fits a Bumblebee's a little more. He's small. He's a small gun. Now, even the guns are die-cast metal. So, they're pretty heavy and weighty on their own. Both are metal. The whole, everything in here is die-cast metal. So, people who love die-cast, you got it right here. This whole thing. Of course, you just don't get much articulation with it. So, let's take a good look at the light-up eye feature. So, I'm going to turn off my lights and take a look. Ooh. Uh, there's Bumby's eyes lighting up in the dark. I'll just put uh, one little light on so you can see it. So that is the light up feature. That is pretty cool. I like how it sort of outlines the outsides of his eyes. I think that's kind of... I really like that a lot. Uh, it doesn't, it's not as bright all the way through the eyes. It's more bright around the edges. And I kind of like that. Nice effect going there. Paint on this is applied very well. I don't really seem to have too many uh, areas of paint problems. It's maybe a fingerprint or something right there. Otherwise, he's not bad. Everything's done pretty, pretty good there. 
So, Jetta Toys, they do make an Optimus Prime version as well. I'll link the Bumblebee and the Optimus Prime down in the comments below where I got it from EntertainmentEarth.com. You want to say thanks for watching this review. Coming up next, I'll review one of the other things I got from that box, which would be reactions. Uh, the Super 7's reaction figure Grimlock. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until the next one. Peace out.